Rhinoceros is a wonderful play, a, a kind of a delightful, very absurd play that was written by Ionesco uh, during the rise of fascism in Romania. A lot of his friends, including people in the intelligentsia, were starting to flock to the xenophobic nationalistic agenda, and many of them were wearing green shirts and joining what was called the Iron Guard, and that for UNESCO became the rhinoceros metaphor. So the rhinoceros is the green-shirted iron guard, whether intelligent or not, being seduced into fascism. We took rhinoceros and just stuck it right in contemporary here and now 21st century. Professor Mark Rini, who does incredible work with projections and animations, uh, this thing is kind of a combination of Tosh.0 and uh, um, sketches that you might see with animation on Colbert. Uh, the Twitterverse is alive. Uh, one of the concepts that I had was that we become so enmeshed in the cyber world right now that we become slaves to our cell phones and, and oftentimes we'll be carrying on a conversation while we're also on our cell phone and eventually it gets to here and it gets to here and pretty soon is it not something like a rhinoceros horn? I found that it was very exciting to work with the students at KU uh, and talk about the number of times in history where we've been faced with these moments where you really feel like you need to resist, where you need to take action. Our hero is the least likely person, is a character named Behringer, and, and he, you know, he's just kind of getting drunk and, and flowing and not being able to commit fully to this girlfriend he has who doesn't seem that interested in him anyway. And he's very much kind of an every person character. He's, he gradually realizes that he has to be a revolutionary. He has to resist this rise of conformity, this, this acceptance of old ways. This is one of the most, honestly, it's one of the most really talented uh, and well-trained uh, ensembles that I've worked with. There's clue, the students that have been here at the university for a while, uh, I, it shows in their discipline, in their attitude, in their approach to the work, uh, that they've had some training is great, and that they have the talent and the drive, it just doubles down on the whole thing. So there's, there's some incredible performances, performances that I would hold to be very professional.